Hello there, this is Tara and I'm riding Donzer today at a pre-St. George schooling show. So it's been about a year since we've tried the pre-St. George and I can tell you there are a lot of things I really like better. His pole is more consistently higher. Um, as a rider I'm keeping my elbows at my sides better. Donzer's almost gotten rid of that rude head shaking and the test overall was a lot steadier than it was the last time we tried. So I'm very happy with these aspects of the test. So of course, like always, there's continuing work and so let's take a look at some of the highlights. So besides everything, uh, overall I want to work on continuing to push Donzer more forward to the noseband versus the bit. I like that from my trainer Judy. Uh, we just need to keep working on the strength for collection. We have moments where it's good at home but I can see in this test he's not living there yet so we need to keep working on that. Obviously uh, the changes still need a lot of work. He gets a little worried about those and also a little bit of a bully. And then of course there's always the rider core that needs to be working on. So what I like actually about this test are these few minutes before we enter the arena. I'm just doing a little uh, haunches in to shoulder in to haunches in and I just really like how his pull is up there at the highest point. He's doing a little bit of head shaking there, pulling on me but then he quits. and. He's carrying pretty well. Obviously this is where I want him to push a little bit more forward, but I like how smoothly he's going from haunches in to the shoulder in and not uh, resorting to the underside muscle of his neck. So here we, we're riding this test today and we've really been on the 20 meter circle for the last eight months. So I haven't actually practiced a pre-St. George or anything like that. So the goal today was just kind of to lay down the pattern and I just wanted to see what gremlins it brought up because donja has been getting very good at home and I was curious to see in the show environment if that was going to bring up, you know, resorting back to the last time he did. And actually we were able to uh, skip over some of those things in the warm-up, which was really cool. And then, but what you can see here is I really am pretty happy with his submission, his poles the highest point, he's moving forward nicely, everything is pretty nice. And I carry that through for the first halt and then we lose some of this quality. So as a rider, it's trying to learn the skill set of how do we take what we had in the warm up and carry that through to the test. And I think it's probably like when we were flying airplanes, you go on a check ride. And we always said that once you put your helmet on, you lost about 80% of your common sense and skill set. <laughs> so I think some of that happens obviously with showing. So I'm very happy though with um, my elbows and the connection. Halt was okay. I mean it was not sitting. Obviously he stopped on the front end but he kept his pole up and didn't drop his head. Then coming out right there, that little head thing where he lifts his head up and the underside of his neck engages. That's what we have really made a big change on but we didn't, it's obviously not done yet. So coming on our first diagonal lengthening here, medium is supposed to be, I let him go too much and he dropped his back and then he started pulling. And so then he was getting unsteady and it just felt like I hadn't let him go that much but clearly too much and that's just going to be more strength and submission practice with forward and backs to work on that and like I said we've been working really just on the 20 meter circle. The shoulder in, I was very happy with the progress we've made in the shoulder in. It's the head bobbing that we have here and the unsteadiness is just a result of strength and that's something that's very fixable but he actually really worked very hard on this. Now you can see I rode a ginormous circle. I'm not really sure what shape that was, but uh, there you have it. He was, stayed pretty steady in his pole though, didn't dive down totally on the forehand. The haunches in I was happy, or the half pass I was happy with, it felt like he went, and it's going to be a point of discussion for me with my next schooling session with my trainer, is it felt like we were getting over to center line too quickly so I actually backed off on asking but you can see what happened is that we lost some of the collection. So on this lengthening which is supposed to be the extended I actually held him in on purpose and pushed more with my low back so it was a lot steadier but of course the judge said it looked just kind of like the medium. And then I halted there and went just because I want to show that change but the judge said that it looked like a loss of impulsion so obviously he didn't sit and carry like he needs to, he just kind of halted. So we'll work on that. 
this shoulder in, this side was a little better. You can see he's lifting his head up because he's trying to figure out how to use those top line muscles versus the underside of his neck. And so that's just going to be a work in progress that's going to keep coming. This circle was a little better in terms of size and shape. And you can just see when we get the collection of the bend and everything, that's when he tries to lift his head up and reference that underside neck muscle. And then again, this was the case where I felt like I was half passing too quickly to center line. I was happy with that transition there. And so I backed off a little bit on the sideways, but then what happened was we lost the collection, so I need to work on that. Now we're coming into our walk pirouettes. Again, I haven't done these or schooled these. I was happy here that he was pushing forward into the nose band, but when we went to turn, it definitely felt like we lost power. And then he stuck that left hind and came around. So as I came around to this one, I just really started to push with my low back and try to really get him up into that nose band. What was nice, this from the last time I did this show, I was able to push him and he moved forward versus getting jiggy or doing something like that. So that was a very nice change that we've had. His pole is staying the highest point. We are supposed to go to extended at M, so schooling show. <laughs> so uh, then I pushed him out, gave him the rain length for the extension. So he's tracking up and reaching for that bit, so I'm pretty happy with that right here. And coming up, we've been working on for the transition to give basically three preparatory half halts with my seat. And I was pleased. I felt like he departed right when I asked. The judge said she thought it looked a little behind the leg. And then coming up here is a quite a bit of naughtiness that is just strict naughtiness from the last show. And this is what I wanted to see. So you can see here, head toss, whatever and I just kept riding and we we went sideways and it felt like we got to X early which was nice and I was able to go straight for a stride or two and then he did a together behind I'm not sure why that happened and it took us a little bit to collect to get back over to the side and then this change was also together behind and I'm not sure why that happened because at home it's been been coming quite nice and I don't know if this is I'm doing something to him or if the show is just making him a little nervous or it's just a combination of all those things. So coming into the half pirouette I was pretty pleased I gave him a pat because again I haven't been schooling these. Coming into the corner I didn't trust him enough to bend him to the right though I have been working on that and this change was nice because he did not steal it. Coming into this pirouette he tried to he was ready to gallop across the arena I was like no 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 we're not doing that and then he decided that he wanted to walk and I tapped him with the stick and he was a little insulted by that <laughs> but then he came out of it nicely and same thing into the corner what I liked is that in his body he didn't get all tense and make me feel like he was going to try to steal it which is a huge change so um, the trust is coming but it's not where it needs to be so now we started across the diagonal my plan was just to do three changes like you do at fourth level but then he start, decided to add a little flare of his own. So I just tried to sit nice and steady in the middle and uh, ride, him t ride him through it. And then as we came around the corner, he steadied up and settled down. So I gave him a pat. Uh, I didn't want to reward the bad behavior, but I wanted to reward him for settling and let him know that this is not a, uh, a big deal. And so I'm not sure, again, if this is just naughtiness, if I'm touching him with the spur more than I do at home. You know, I don't. I don't know what it has, but it's clearly baggage that we're going to have to sort our way through. So this will just help improve me as a rider and a trainer, and we'll get through it because Donzer's improved so much of the other stuff. So after we came, so now I'm happy again. He's gotten more collected. His pole's the highest point. I'm still sitting up in the saddle, and I didn't get into a rodeo with him, so I was happy about that. And then here, I let him go. This is always our bad thing is is uh, I get the writer comment bold and I like that. <laughs> I've been told by trainers that that's not a good comment but to come around the corner I need to get him to come back a little sooner but what's nice is he was nice and steady coming down center line last year he kept trying to flip changes all the way down and this time he felt nice and steady and he was there with me a good halt until he stepped back and then he kept his pole. He didn't drop his pole at the end of the test so uh, obviously lots of work to continue but it was a lot better in a lot of ways. Thanks.